Great job, scholars. I love the way you all came over, showing me that you are ready for math this morning. The learning target for today is on the board. Let's read the learning target together. One, two, three, read. I can represent and solve division problems with up to three digits divided, requiring decomposing a remainder in the hundreds place. So scholars, I need someone to paraphrase in your own words what the learning target is asking us to do today. Rayshawn, what is the learning target saying that we will do today? This learning target is saying what we want, what we want to do today is we want to divide, divide and decompose the remainder by using the place value chart in the hundreds place. By having a remainder in the hundreds place when, you, when we're trying to divide and then we can decompose it and then we get a remainder. So you're saying that we will be dividing and then we will Whoa. decompose a remainder in the hundreds place? Try again. This learning target is trying to tell us that we're going to have a three digit dividend requiring we have to decompose it and then we're going to have a remainder in the hundreds place so we're going to have to find out where to put the remainder at in a different place value. So we'll have to decompose the remainder and you're saying we'll do what with it? We'll move it to a different place value. Did you want to add to that, David? I would say that in the hundreds place, you, you have a remainder in the hundreds place, but you can't have a remainder in the hundreds place because it's not the smallest unit, so you would have to decompose that number and bring it to the tens place, and then if you have a remainder in the tens place, you get it to the ones place because the ones is the smallest unit. Okay, well, David and Rayshawn, thank you for your responses, and I like how you're thinking about the learning target.